Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Technically Explained. In this lecture, we are going to study the demodulation of double side bandwidth carrier. Now, there are two methods of demodulation of double side bandwidth carrier. One is the using rectifier, and the other is using the envelope detector. In this lecture, we are going to use the method of envelope detector. And if you remember in the previous lecture, the process of a double side bandwidth carrier was that if we have a message signal m of t we provided some dc value of a and then that signal becomes a plus m of t and then that signal a plus m of t is multiplied with a high frequency carrier wave as a result we have the amplitude modulated carrier wave now this green shape is the envelope of this amplitude modulated carrier wave and this shape is similar to the shape of the message signal so if we are able to recover this the envelope of this amplitude modulated signal we can recover the message signal so now the circuit of the of the envelope detector is here we have a diode over here and the diode assumed here is the ideal diode which only conducts in forward direction and acts as an open circuit in reverse direction and we have a capacitor c and a resistor r now the input signal here in this case is the amplitude modulated signal when this input signal or amplitude modulated signal is positive the diode is going to act as a closed switch or it will act as a short circuit as a result capacitor which will start charging so when the input signal or when the amplitude modulated signal is is positive the capacitor will start charging and it will continue to charge unless this uh, input signal reaches its peak value when the input signal reaches its peak value the capacitor will be fully charged so the capacitor will charge to the peak value of the input signal which is the amplitude modulated signal now as the input signal falls below the peak value it will quickly become less than the voltage across the capacitor now when this becomes less than the voltage across the capacitor the diode in that case is going to act as an open circuit and when the diode act as an open circuit the capacitor will start discharging to the resistor r but this capacitor will discharge at a slower rate given by the time constant rc so when the capacitor is charging it reaches to the peak value of the input voltage then after when the uh, input signal starts to fall down below the peak value we have the discharging phenomena and then again when the capacitor when the uh, uh, amplitude modulated signal again uh, goes to the positive peak we are again going to have the uh, charging phenomena so this process is going to continue as a result the output of this circuit is going to be this for this wave so this is the signal this is the output waveform of this this circuit which is the uh, signal across the capacitor now this signal has ripples to remove the ripples we are going to use the low pass filter so after using the low pass filter the ripples in the output waveform has been removed now we have the output waveform of the form a plus m of t we need the signal m of t so to block this uh, dc a we, we will use the dc blocking capacitor after using the dc blocking capacitor we are going to get the message signal m of t so this is the method of envelope detector and this is the circuit of envelope detector and in this way using the uh, demodulation using the envelope detection we have recovered the message signal from the amplitude modulated signal also remember that the amplitude modulated signal works per perfectly when the carrier frequency is very very greater than the message uh, frequency the values of r and c in this circuit should be selected very diligently and very carefully the values of r and c should be such that 1 by omega c r c should be very very greater than 1 by omega c and it should be less than 1 by 2 pi b here b is the bandwidth of the message signal if r c is too small capacitor will discharge rapidly and we are going to have more ripples at the output and that's not what we want if rc is too large the capacitor will take longer time for discharging and we are we are and, and the output will not be able to follow the envelope so the rc time constant should be selected of optimum value and that should be given by this equation so the rc is going to follow this condition so this was all about the demodulation of double of double side bandwidth carrier using the envelope detection thank you